I may have to do what Weber did, hold it. I'm tall enough to hold it. <laughs> I don't usually use a lot of notes when I speak, but I have several things that I really wanted to say today, and then I want you to help me with a strong finish. My name is Rebecca McClanahan. I'm a registered nurse, 36 years as a registered nurse. And I can't believe we are talking about the things that we are talking about in 2012. I can't believe it. I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, I'm a former foster parent, and I can't believe we are having these kinds of discussions when there are so many needs uh, out there. I'd like to focus on our health today and just shed a little bit of light about what's going on in terms of our health and the way that it's being talked about here in this building and the way that it's being talked about in Washington, D.C. We are the only, we are the only developed country in the world that does not have some kind of system that assures that people have access to basic, basic health care services. We're the only one. Shame on us. Meanwhile, we as a nation, the people and the nation, spend almost twice as much per person than our nearest competitor. We're not getting our money's worth. We should be the healthiest country in the world, and we're not. We're not. Our lifespan is shorter than comparison countries. Do you know that, that we don't even live as long? We have more deaths from heart disease in the United States than in a long list of other countries. And do you know what the number one killer is for women? Heart disease. Heart disease. It's not breast cancer. Now, breast cancer is an important issue, and I would not put that down. But heart disease is the number one killer um, for women. We rank 34th in the nation. I looked this up again just last night to make sure that I had my numbers right. We rank 34th in the world on infant mortality. That means that a baby born in the United States is more likely to die in its first year than in 34 other countries in the world. God forgive us. We rank 121 out of 136 countries where these statistics are gathered on maternal mortality. A woman giving birth in the United States is more likely to die than in 121 other countries. God forgive us. And then we fight about health care and make it all politics rather than health care. Do you know, being pro-life is more than just being against something. You have to be for something. <laughs> Starting in 2014, all plans sold to individuals and small employers will have to cover a minimum set of essential health benefits, and it includes maternity care, prenatal care for women. Do you know it's really difficult to buy a policy that even covers prenatal care for women? It's no wonder that our infant mortality rates are what they are. It's no wonder that our maternity, maternal mortality rates are what they are. But you know, it's not just about those issues, it's about contraception too. It's about birth control. I didn't even have this in my notes, but I thought about it as we walked up here today. I sat with my 86-year-old parents last night at the nursing home where my dad is a resident. 
and I go in order to take my mother home to her home there in Kirksville. My 86-year-old parents struggled as a young couple to try to find ways to space their children in order to protect my mother's health and they struggled to do that. They were so relieved when their daughters had access to appropriate birth control. <laughs> By the way, my dad was a career-long minister in a fundamentalist evangelical church. By the way, and he would be sitting beside me here in his wheelchair today if he could be. He can't believe that these are the issues that we're talking about uh, in 2012. I want you to help me finish my talk today and I'm going to give a little bit of credit here to the National Women's Law Center. If you haven't been to the website of the National Women's Law Center, go there and watch those videos. But I'm going to get you prepared for enjoying those videos. Your job is to say, and you might have to stand up to do this, your job is to say, I will not. And then I'm going to fill in the blanks. Will you join me? Let's practice. Let's practice. I will not take less. I will not. Let insurance companies put a dollar limit on my life. I will not. Let them call what I've been through a pre-existing condition. Be told that my sick child won't be covered. I will not. Wait another day not to know whether I have breast cancer or not. I will not. Be pushed around by health insurance companies. I will not. Told that I cannot protect my health. I will not. Be told that I cannot get maternity care. I will not. I will not be denied. Join me. I will not be denied. 